people line up like super long just to get food. Yeah. You have so many places to go. But I want to go to that one. <laughs> but you see, like, let's say dinner time. Is this a conflict between the two of you? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to. Today I'm joined by Victor and Grace. You guys want to give a quick introduction? Yes, we are an international couple living in Taiwan, and we do travel videos, and just Taiwan things, right? Living in Taiwan. Yeah, so these guys are also uh, YouTubers. I also did a video on their channel, so I'll put a link at the end of this video so you can check it out after finishing this one. So Vitz is going to share some things which he thinks are special to Taiwan or certain traits that only Taiwan has. Do you want to give us the first one? Fat yeah. Remember when I first, like, first few months here, uh. I like threw them out, and you're like, no! What are you doing? Don't throw them out. You can win money. I'm like. Wait, what? It's just a receipt. You thought it's a joke. Yeah, it's like, mm. no way. Like, I don't know how it works. I've never done this. So mm. I've always like crumpled it and then threw it out. <laughs> like, I didn't care until I actually saw your mom was doing it at some point. And I, I checked was like, in. He won't, what is she he won't doing? the laundry. They're like, oh yeah, yeah, she's checking the fact. Yeah. I was like, Dead. yeah, at one point she won like 8,000. Like, <laughs> now you believe. Now I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> My first year in Taiwan, I threw them away as well. <gasps> oh, maybe you want two million. But yeah, I just didn't. I always thought it was going to be more math fan than it actually was. Oh. I thought it'd be really annoying to do. Do you do it every few months now then? Oh, we just give it to her. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. And if she wins, so you buy uh, some teaser or something like that. Sometimes you. Uh, I don't know if it's like it links up, but oh, like, oh you guys want to go afternoon tea? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she secretly won three million. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Can you imagine? Yeah, something yeah. I do every time now. I become Taiwanese. Yeah. When it comes to money, I become Taiwanese. <laughs> Second one is scooters. Mm. Like scooters in Taiwan is definitely prominent. Driving in Taiwan, like driving a car, everyone just like, but they're fast. They know where they're going. Mm. Like I have to check the blind, my blind spots twice now because I don't know if there's a scooter coming again. Mm -hmm. Like it, again, it's me trying to get used to the traffic. It's mm. quite normal here in Taiwan. I feel like when there's a whole like bunch of motorcycles or scooters on on the road, it's like a sea of fish. Yeah, and it's just like <laughs> sardines. Everyone knows exactly what they're doing, all weaving in and out and whatever. Yes, and I'm slowly becoming, you know, part one of the sport. <laughs> I'm becoming one, one of them. No becoming of them. a fish. Well, one of them. <laughs> but I still do get angry at, at people just doing things they shouldn't do, and I'm just like, why? Especially older people, they're the worst. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just an old pull out of junctions, don't check the mirrors, and expect everyone else to accommodate them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Number three, people line up like super long just to get food. Yeah. You have so many places to go. But I want to go to that one. <laughs> but you see, like, let's say dinner time. Is this a conflict between the two of you? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> My limit is like an hour. If we're waiting past an hour, like let's just go to the nearest open place. Mm. They have less people. If I'm waiting more than twenty minutes, no. yeah, <laughs> no. <Nah. laughs> Unless it's one where I can get a ticket, yeah, go yeah, do yeah, my yeah, thing and come yeah. back. I'm fine with that. But if I'm actually having to be at that location mm. more than twenty minutes, right? No. There's a little bit of a Taiwanese mentality that if there are a lot of people inside and there's a long queue, it's good. It must be good. Me and my friends, I think there was maybe like eight of us, went into a restaurant and it was completely quiet. Nobody there. We went in, as soon as we went in, people started lining up because yeah. they saw people inside and thought, oh, this, this place must be good. <laughs> <laughs> you, you have another one with food, right? Food and... Okay. Cameras. The cameras. Is, is it that weird? So the phrase is like, the camera eats first. Oh. <laughs> That's an actual thing. I've yeah. never heard that. Like mm. mm. And then it's like, they, the camera eats first because when the Sorry. food is served, you're so hungry, you're like, right? can I eat? And then it at least takes five minutes to Maybe take. Maybe only 10 seconds, huh? No, no, you gotta choose the filter. You gotta make sure it's all right. Okay. You've gotta organize the table. Uh -huh. And hey, don't touch, don't touch. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody eat first. Yeah. Oh, that spoon's in the way. Yeah, exactly. Wait, 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 wait. Like Get off the shot. And then another dish will come. <laughs> and then. And oh, we're gonna do it one more time, one more time. Get it here. Okay. Yeah. yeah. At Christmas, my wife had some friends over. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna make a roast dinner. I was starving. Put it all out. And they're like, okay, wait, let me go and get the tripod. We need to, we have a, we need to have a group photo. <gasps> and I was like, oh my god. Even tripod? So we'd set up the tripod, get the camera, get everyone ready, take three or four photos, make sure, oh, oh no, that person's come now. Okay. Oh my god. And then my food was cold. 
Oh, oh no. Bring it, James. Bring it. <laughs> Fine. Don't we'll be mad. You're, you're in Taiwan. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, always expect that once your food comes, wait another five minutes until you can eat it. Wait, so British and Canadian, they don't do that? You don't mm-hmm. take photo? photo. My, my dad's side of the family does. Oh, okay. yeah, it's an Asian thing, for sure. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Number five is wearing indoor slippers. Mm. Now I have indoor slippers and outdoor <laughs> slippers on <laughs> my shoes. Do you have the, the blue and white slippers from 7-Eleven? Yes. Yeah. I thought you might. Yeah. That's yeah. super Taiwanese. Okay, we went to a hotel and then the slippers were really comfortable. It's like, so high quality. So you took them? So yeah. we took them. Were they slippers that you no, it's disposable? Like, yeah, disposable. Oh, okay, yeah. that's fine. Yeah. They're so comfy. Like, they're so high quality, it's like you could get off the store. What, what kind of hotel do you guys stay in? It? <laughs> How much money are you making? But, anyways, that slippers is like the same as the Lombard tool. Last one. I have a last one. So I feel like doctors here in Taiwan are very fast and efficient. Mm. Like every time we visit a doctor, it goes by fast. Like, okay, what are your symptoms? Uh, what are you feeling? Do, yeah. So you need to do this, 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 and that, and then go out to the counter for your medicine. Yeah. Yes. And then you pay, I'm done. Around five minutes? Yeah. Compared to Canada, where I'm from, when I go to the doctor, it's more personal. Definitely like, hey, how's it going? How are the kids? Like, you know. We don't have kids, but just to my family. <laughs> <laughs> when it's a family visit or something. Also, one thing that was weird to me is, have you had a blood test done? Yes. And you just sit in the, in the, the open room in front of everyone having your blood taken. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's the weirdest thing. <laughs> Why? I don't know. It's like, it's personal. <laughs> no, it's just your blood. Yeah, usually there's like, it's either the curtains yeah. or like their office. Mm. <laughs> and I remember the first time just being so scared, like, what if someone falls open, bumps into the duct so who's... Oh, <laughs> I, I, I hate needles, so I'm just thinking of all the worst possibilities. Hi uh, guys, thank you for sharing your subtle Hony traits with me. I also filmed a video with these guys. Right. They interviewed me, so if you want to find out more about me, you can go to their channel and check that out. I'll put a link to their channel in the description below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you guys next time. Bye. Bye.